Getting a puncture whilst you're out riding is an inconvenience. However, it will happen to all of us that ride regularly at some point. You can reduce your chances of getting one by making sure that you replace tyres when they start to wear out. But even then, it only takes a sharp piece of glass or a thorn and you'll have a flat tyre. We always recommend at a minimum that you take out a multi-tool along with a pump, a couple of spare inner tubes and a couple of tyre levers. And it's those last three which we'll need today to fix this flat tyre. Easiest way to get the back wheel out is to firstly put your chain down to one of the smaller sprockets here on the back. So just click the lever down, give it a few turns until it's onto that smaller sprocket. Put the wheel on the floor. Don't be tempted to turn your bike upside down and rest it on the levers because you can potentially scratch them. Just gently put it down on the non-drive side, preferably on a bit of grass. It's time to remove one side of the tyre. You don't need to take it off completely. Firstly, make sure that any air is completely out. Take one of your tyre levers, get it in underneath the beading on one side of the tyre. Take your other one a few inches further around, basically where you can get some grip underneath the bead. Sometimes with tyres you can just start to slip your tyre lever around like this and it will fairly easily come off all the way around. So, one side of the tyre bead is completely off. Pull it all the way out until you get up here to the valve. Lift the tyre over to reveal the inner tube and you'll just be able to pull that inner tube out. Put it to one side on your bike and you'll know that that's the punctured one. Right, before we go and put the brand new inner tube in, we want to check what's caused this puncture in the first place. If it's been a pinch puncture and you just hit a pothole very hard, that will be very, very obvious. However, it's gone down slowly and you didn't really notice until it began to go soft, you'll want to go around the inside of the tyre carefully with your hands. I say carefully because, of course, whatever's penetrated through your tyre and inner tube is likely to be very sharp, so it could penetrate through your skin as well. So in this case, the offending article is just a sharp thorn, which I've just been able to get out using my thumbnail. So once you're satisfied that you've got the offending item out of the tyre, it's time to put the new inner tube in. And that is much more easily done if the tube has got some shape to it and it's not just flat like this. So you've got a couple of options. You can simply undo the valve again here and blow it up yourself. Well, if you don't want to do that, you can simply attach your pump and do the same thing with that. It doesn't need to be too pumped up, just to give it a bit of roundness so it sits inside the tyre a bit easier. So once you've got the shape in the tube, do the valve back up here. Find the valve hole on the wheel, which in this case is here, and then simply drop the valve through it after you've bent the tyre backwards. Then you want to get the bead over the inner tube there at the valve to start with and you can start to tuck the inner tube in all the way around. So once the tube's bedded in then it's time to start putting the bead back over onto the rim. In some instances I think possibly like on this one you can do the whole thing by hand however if it's not that easy and it's a bit too tight you can simply put the tyre levers up and use them to bend the bead of the tyre back on but just be careful again that you don't pinch the inner tube with your tyre lever. Once you've got it seated back on the rim like this we want to go around it step by step pulling it over on the side that you put it back on just to make sure that you can't see the inner tube protruding underneath the rim of the tyre because if you do and you start pumping it back up to a high pressure it can actually explode again. So I've just got a bit here where we can see the inner tube underneath the tyre. So before we start to pump it up we want to make sure that that inner tube is firmly inside the tyre. There's no specific technique for this it's just simply a case of trying to roll it around until you can't see the inner tube anymore on both sides. Once you're happy with that we can begin pumping. Right, that's pretty hard now. I reckon that must be somewhere up towards 100 psi. And there's one last check that it's seated properly. You can give the wheel a quick spin and make sure that it's fairly smooth all the way around. If you get any big bobbles up and down the tyre, it generally means that you've got your tube snagged underneath. Okay, we're ready to put that in. Just do the valve up here again, and we're ready to put the wheel back into the bike. So almost in the same way that you put it in, push the rear mech down, the cage part at the back to make sure that's the case. And as we've already put it into the smallest cog, that's where you want to rest the top jockey wheel. It should just slip in. Okay, before you set off, just give a quick bit of pedaling. Make sure that the chain's still seated properly on both the chain ring 
and the cogs at the back. You might even want to put it up a few cogs if you're starting back on a climb like I am before you get going. And it's just a case of clearing your rubbish and your tools up. One last thing though, before you get on your way, if you have loosened your cantilever brake off to get your wheel out, make sure that you do it back up.